let's talk about fasting. Fasting is a spiritual discipline, just like praying or reading your Bible is. And in my opinion, it is one of the most underutilized disciplines that we have. A biblical fast is to not eat food, and in some cases to not eat or drink. And we see that this is done from sunup to sundown, and many times longer than that. Not eating food is a very difficult thing to do, especially when you're talking about days or weeks of not eating food. The longest fasts recorded in the Bible are 40 days, done by three guys, Moses, Elijah, and Jesus himself. The average American eats nearly two tons of food each year. That is 2,000 pounds. Food is amazing. It is so satisfying and delicious. It is culture. It is family. It is home. It is even sensual. And it's not just a necessity, but it is enjoyable. Food, man, it can make you dance. We all know the term hangry. Food can change your outlook on life. Food can change your attitude. Food is a great thing. Fasting is done primarily for three reasons. Mourning, repentance, and begging God, asking him to come near. David fasted after his son died and mourned his loss. Paul, when he was blinded by Jesus, fasted for three days and three nights for his repentance. And probably the most well-known fast is the fast called by Esther for three days. To avoid health issues, please talk to a medical professional before you fast. The fast that I do most often is not eating food. I will continue to drink water. Now, if a fast is more than three days of not eating any food, then I'll add juice or, or some kind of liquid to help me and sustain me. What I do when I fast is, the times that I normally would be eating, I'm praying. And whenever I get hungry, I'm praying. And if it's a fast for repentance, then I'm begging God and I'm asking God, God, please change my heart, change my mind, remove this sin from my life, make me new. If it is a fast for petitioning God, asking Him to come near, or asking for a certain thing, I beg him for whatever it is. It could be a job, it could be health reasons, whatever it may be. And a prayer that I often repeat is, God, I want this more than I want food. I want this job. I want you to move in this person's life. I want you to change this more than I want to eat. If it is a fast because of mourning, I, I ask God, please help me. Please be with me. Please help me to mourn. Please help me to go through this. Please draw near to me. Please be my comfort. Some people also give the money that they would have spent on food that day away. Jesus teaches that fasting is between you and God. It is not something for you to announce. It's not something for you to disfigure your face or to overreact when you see food. Is that, is, is that food? I, I wish I could, I could eat food right now, but I'm fasting. Fasting is an amazing spiritual discipline that we have access to. If you find yourself slipping in a certain area, maybe it's a certain sin dogging you, fast. If you want to see a friend become a Christian, fast. Fast and see what happens. Fasting is not a guarantee that you're going to get a yes for whatever you're asking for, but it is a guarantee that you will get closer to God. And if you're close to God, that's all that we really need in life. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share to subscribe. That is a great way to support this channel. Also, please leave a comment of anything that you want me to cover. More videos are coming your way. Until then, stay blessed.